Hey everybody, it's me your Sky Pie. Welcome to another ep well, a sudden episode of Girlio Previews. I wasn't actually expecting to do a review today, but it turned out um well, as you guys can see by my face, I've kind of been through some traumatic events. I went to Walmart. I know. There's some scary people at Walmart. There was this ass who, like, he was walking so fast through the jewelry department, talking on his freaking cell phone to who knows who. He was walking, he wasn't, like, walking, he was, like, sprint walking to the electronics department. He walked so fast that he pushed me into one of the displays. Yeah, I ended up getting a really good, it was almost like a burn. Yeah, see, right there. See that? Yeah. Look at the ham. He's an ass. So, dude, if you're watching this and you're the guy who bloody pushed me into the display, you're an ass. <laughs> I was going to freaking trip him, but he was walking too freaking fast. He was like a, mm, I'd say about mm, 34 year old man. He was really, really, really like. I really wanted to trip him. And you guys know me. I'm very, very kind. Especially when I'm at stores looking for pony things. Um. So, luckily, I did find some really cool new things. Um, I was able to get um, a piece that we were supposed to get at Target years ago, but we never got them. Uh, they also had, in the same department, they had um, Pikachu ones of these, Darth Vader heads, toothless ones, uh, mystery machines. It was quite a few different ones. I'm talking about the, the porcelain My Little Pony piggy banks. These things are freaking badass. These things are gorgeous. It's got like a rubberized stopper here at the base so that I think you can actually pop it in and out. I think that's what she said. I think so. Yeah, you can. You can pop it in and out. It's like one of the old fashioned ones. So it's a really good one. I wouldn't recommend dropping it because it does feel like porcelain. Kind of has the feeling of porcelain on it. Um, I know there's supposed to be a third one out there that was, I'm guessing, a Target exclusive because it was like a Pinkie Pie that she has her, she has her element of harmony around her neck, but I still have not seen that anywhere. I might have to special order it from the U.S., but they also had Rambo Dash there, so let's take a look at her cutie mark. That's a nice cutie mark, but oh yeah, it's in the right position. On some of these, you kind of wonder, like, if it's in the right position or not. It's a really nice one. They look legit. Her mane is a proper length. Her tail wraps around. Just like Twilies. Oh, these are really cute. Yeah. So, um, these were $12 each. So, they're good price. They're not too steep. Not too cheap. So, you know you're getting a good piece. But, you guys remember when I did that weird video where I was trying to review the alarm clock the my little pony alarm clock yeah that thing it just kept failing in multiple ways there was well a first of all there was the product as soon as it arrived it had messed up because the lights wouldn't stop going off so then i sent it back i got a brand new one that one the plug it didn't come with a plug it was all batteries so if you wanted to use it you had to use batteries so it just sucked up the batteries so I did find a plug that would fit in, but I thought, oh, yeah, it's going all fine and everything. But then one night, the power went out, and then as soon as the power came back on, that thing bloody strobe lighted, and it scared the living hell out of me. So that thing's now downstairs, um, and ever since then, I've been on a quest to find another more decent My Little Pony alarm clock. And... I wanted one, like, when I was a little kid, I had this one alarm clock. It was, um, it was circular, and it, you guys have probably seen it before. It's got the uh, famous Mickey Mouse, and he's got it like this. Yeah. And then it would go around, and it had the old tin bells on both sides, so it would go ding, 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 ding. It was a wind-up clock. I wanted something like that, but online... They wanted like 60 bucks. Amazon wanted $60 for a freaking My Little Pony alarm clock. I couldn't believe that. 
I ended up actually caving. I didn't buy it, though. Um, I ended up going and buying a normal LED alarm clock and then just sticking a Twilight Sparkle on the top of it. That's how desperate I got for a proper one. But then, even then, I couldn't trust it because the power was doing weird stuff. So I was like, what the hell? So I started trusting my iPod and my iPad, and then it started messing up. Before I knew it, I was, like, first, the iPod started failing. It wouldn't go off on the times that I wanted to, so I was late for stuff. And then I tried the iPad. It didn't have the music that I liked waking up to. So then I got, I got irritated at that. So I put in another app. That one, its alarm is too quiet, and you can't fix the change, and you can't change the, uh, the, the uh, volume, which that sucks. And I tried my cell phone. People just kept calling me throughout the night. And I don't know about you guys, but people calling you throughout the night, it's kind of hard to sleep. <laughs> Especially when your phone, your answering tone for weird numbers is Aaron from Game Grumps singing the, the uh, Six Foot Penis song. Yeah. I kid you not. So... <laughs> Don't ask me why. I just, I think that song's funny. Um, so yeah, uh, I was lucky to find at Toys R, not Toys R Us, um, at Walmart, oddly enough, it was right next to a, uh, Cinderella alarm clock and a Disney fairy alarm clock, and I thought, oh great, there's nothing here. There's nothing here. Why am I looking here? They had this. Oddly enough, this is the same one that they were selling online on Amazon for 60 bucks. What the hell? Online prices! Ugh. So, of course, right off the bat, you know why I like this. A. It's got the tin bells. B. It's pink and in the shape of a heart. C. It's got Pegasus eyes! It's got baggage, yeah, you have what a giant web with you, she's so cute. And, um, it's also got LEDs. That's amazing. They actually piped in LEDs into a freaking old school alarm clock. That is awesome. Um, it says here, twin bell alarm clock, quartz accuracy, lights up on demand, custom speed Oh, custom shaped case. Yeah, I was about to say if it's got custom speeds for the bell, that I will freaking piss my pants right here. <laughs> no, I won't. Uh, it says here one year limited warranty. It's got a warranty on it. That's pretty badass. Um, it says here not for children under the age of eight years. May contain small parts, which present a choking hazard. We have a picture of it on the side. Twin bell alarm clock. So, yes. Let's open this puppy up. I can't wait. Screw it. I've been looking for this alarm clock a long time. Don't judge me. And also, this video can only be ten minutes long, and it's already eight minutes. Look at this alarm. It's got sweet apple acres on the background, but you know what? That kind of doesn't matter right now. Oh. Yes. Oh, listen to that sound. Oh. It's got a handle. I love it. It's so quaint. Oh, the old school ways. Oh. So simple. None of this analog part of my French bullshit. It's got a little stand feed. It just stands there. It just stands there on your nightstand all night. It doesn't give off radiation like like um, iPads do. So you don't have to worry about getting thyroid cancer from this. This thing's awesome. This thing is a major 10 out of 10 in my books. So yeah, I'll also do a video once I get the thing um, actually up and running. I'll do a little mini video. So yeah, you guys see these? I highly recommend them. They're awesome. They only have one left after I bought mine. Um, yeah, they're twelve bucks, twelve dollars. So yeah, see you guys next time.